Polyprotic acids are compounds with more than one acidic proton. Some examples are carbonic acid with two acidic protons, phosphoric with three, and sulfuric acid with two acidic protons. When you titrate a polyprotic acid, in general, the protons come off stepwise. Another way to say that is the pKa's are often separated by many units. So you'll have an independent equilibrium for each of the acidic protons. So let's look at that. For carbonic acid, for instance, the first pKa is 6.1, and that represents an equilibrium between the H2CO3 species and the deprotonated HCO3 minus species. At pH 6.1, there'd be an equal mixture of both of those. pH is above 6.1, the base form predominates. pH is below 6.1, the acid form predominates. The next proton, that is this one, this is the same species, of course, this proton comes off at around pK, pH 10, because the pKa2 is around 10. And notice I use the terminology, the proton comes off. I'm talking about during a titration, as the pH passes through 10, this proton is removed and this form without the proton becomes the favored form. So I can sketch out a titration curve. Here's a titration curve with two buffer regions and two equivalence points. So what I have here is half equivalence, halfway to the first equivalence point. That's where the pH will be equal to the pKa. pH is below that. The acid form here dominates, doubly protonated. Above that, you have the singly protonated species, one proton removed. And that species, there'll be 100% that species at the first equivalence point. And then this proton will start to be removed around the second half equivalence point, the second buffer region, and that's around pH 10.2. As you pass through pH 10.2, then the doubly deprotonated, the doubly basic form predominates. And then you'll get to an equivalence point where it's 100% essentially of the doubly deprotonated form. So by looking at the pH and the various pKa's, you can predict which forms are present in solution. That's the titration curve for a polyprotic acid.